uh, good morning and uh, welcome to the, uh, the Browns vlog yet again. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, guitar building. Now I've been building guitars since about 2004. Um, I actually ran a business um, during 2004 up to about 2009, um, building guitars for sale with components that I purchased from, uh, from the US, uh, mainly from um, Warmoth. But as the uh, exchange rate of the uh, pound fell against the dollar, it just became uh, uh, not viable anymore. The, uh, uh, the parts I was importing from the US actually got, got too expensive uh, for the UK market. So uh, I've had a bit of a break. Um, I did start. I did, I did uh, buy a guitar body about 18 months ago, uh, which I'm going to put up a, a bit of video now that I, that I took at the time when I bought it. But one or two things intervened uh, to stop me building the guitar out. Uh, I was diagnosed with cancer, and also uh, when we were moving house, uh, so that was put on hold for a bit. Uh, so now I've got some time with the. Uh, uh, enforced uh, um, quarantine uh, due to coronavirus because uh, I'm undergoing cancer treatment. Um, I've decided to uh, finish the guitar, so I've bought all the parts. So um, I'll just uh, I'll look the body for you to see. Uh, it's a uh, a walnut Telecaster, uh, quite nice figure. Um, I actually uh, prepared the body some time ago, so I um, actually I, I uh, grain filled it with uh, using a teak, uh, darker grain filler just to bring the grain out of it, and then uh, clear coated it. Uh, and I also um, shielded all the cavities with uh, with copper tape and earth and all. Uh, it then got put put away for about eighteen months, and I've just now got it out, cleaned it up, and uh, purchased all the other parts uh, that I need to uh, to complete the build. Uh, I got a, a neck from eBay. I mean, it's a bit of hit and miss buying uh, guitar necks and things like that on the on eBay, but um, this actually looks pretty good. Uh, surprisingly, for uh, for a neck that uh, only cost me about sixty pounds, the uh, the fretting is really good. There's no sharp edges on it at all. It's been been very well. Um, the, the frets have been very well dressed, so I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, and it looks straight and true, so uh, hopefully uh, once we get it fitted it'll be okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, the dog's barking. Right, we'll carry on. I say I've uh, purchased a whole um, selection of hardware to go with the uh, uh, to go with the new guitar. I got a, 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 a Wilkinson uh, Telecaster bridge, which has got the compensated saddles on it, which makes um, uh, intonation of the uh, the finished um, instrument a bit easier uh, because the uh, the saddles are designed to to allow for slightly different uh, string lengths, uh, which uh, which helps with intonation. I got a pair of of, of Wilkinson um, Telecaster pickups as well, so I've actually. <coughs> Uh, fitted the, fitted the um, the neck pickup. Just bring it out to focus. Fitted the neck pickup into a um, a chrome uh, fixing ring because uh, because of the nice the nice walnut uh, finish on the guitar. I didn't want to have a um, uh, a pick guard on it. I just wanted to uh, to expose the, uh, the the figured wood. So uh, and then uh, I've got the again. Let's try and focus on this. There we go, and that's the, the Wilkinson uh, bridge pickup. There we go. Look on there again. Um, I bought a bought a, um, a control panel, a control uh, panel here for uh, standard Telecaster, but I'm actually going to uh, to wire this uh, this Telecaster up in a slightly different way. <coughs> I'm going to use a, um, a five-way Stratocaster switch. And uh, use the the Bill Lawrence modifications for uh, use with the five way, which which gives me um, neck pickup, bridge pickup, uh, both pickups together, uh, one slightly out, uh, one 
with both pickups half out of phase and then the uh, um, neck pickup with a uh, an extra capacitor in as the uh, as the fifth setting uh, I've got some uh, cheap and cheerful machine heads from uh, eBay as well which uh, hopefully won't be uh, too cheesy uh, so I got I already had the, um, the electronics from previous um, builds where these were stripped out I think um, so I've got a, I've got, actually got a couple of uh, uh, 500 ohm uh, pots uh, I've got some A's and B's actually so um, and also I've got some capa capacitors and things left over from the builds um, I've got quite a few uh, Stratocaster knobs left over but they all say tone that hey who cares on there which is the tone and which is the volume so. uh, strap pins as well so uh, And then I got, I got some uh, somewhere I got some some uh, ferrules for the back of the uh, telecaster because this it, uh, this body, as you see, is a string through, uh, and I got a, a, a bridge plate as well, so uh, to put on. Uh, the one thing that is unusual, on, and this is, is that I have got a the extra capacitor for the um, the fifth setting uh, on the five-way switch, which is actually going to be a um, uh, it's a, uh, a point, point 0.1 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. So, right, what I'm going to do is, is uh, I'll take a break now and probably uh, do some work on the guitar, uh, and then come back at various stages through the uh, through the build uh, to get you all up to date with the progress. Right, I've put the um, the machine heads on here, the tuning pegs on. Right, when you um, when you buy a guitar, the, uh, uh, the, the guitar neck, the uh, it's usually drilled for either um, ten millimeter uh, machine heads, or uh, occasionally you get them for eight millimeter vintage style. Uh, this is a ten millimeter, uh, and then they uh, had ten millimeter holes drilled in it, and then the uh, the tuning pegs themselves have a. Uh, a diameter of, uh, of the barrel is 10 millimeter as well. However, obviously the next drilled at 10 millimeters and then it's sprayed with a clear finish. So the actual working in the diameter of the uh, of the, the drilled holes that are left is probably slightly less than, than 10. And sometimes it's quite hard to fit the uh, the tuning pegs in. So my solution to that is to is to get a uh, uh, get focus on that. 10 millimeter drill bit nice new sharpish one and just go through and do it by hand just to re ream out the uh, the finish from the holes and then that, that makes quite a good good fit then so <clears throat> the tuning pegs themselves um, f they actually fix in place uh, with a, a collar and nut at the front uh, and at the back there's a, um, a, a small retaining screw as well uh, which uh, stops the uh, anything from uh, from moving or revolving. Now, um, to fit these, I drill a small um, pilot hole using a one millimeter uh, drill bit. Uh, now, the one problem you can find with uh, with, with these screws is that uh, the maple, which most guitar necks are made of, let's try and get that in focus, uh, is quite a hard wood. Uh, and these these screws uh, themselves are tiny, <laughs> uh, and one problem you can get is uh, is, is screw breakages. Uh, so um, to get around that, what I do is actually I get a candle, and I rub some of the candle wax uh, onto the screw thread. Well, that helps lubricate it. So. I then put the screw into the guide hole and screw it in with an appropriate size screwdriver. But the, the candle wax then acts as a bit of a lubricant 
uh, stops any binding uh, on the maple and allows the screw to go in uh, without any breakage. Right, um, normally when you buy a guitar, it has the, uh, the guitar body, sorry, it, uh, it has the, the holes for the, uh, for the neck uh, already drilled in it. If it doesn't, uh, you can use the, um, the neck plate as a template to, to uh, uh, get the, the holes in the right places and the right spacings. Normally, however, the neck itself uh, doesn't have any holes in it. So you, you have to uh, you have to drill that uh, drill those in the right place. So, and the way I do that is to temporarily fit the neck, um, and then mark through the holes from the um, the back of the uh, guitar body, uh, and then I can drill some guide holes in the neck to take the screws. What you have to really do is take some careful measurements as, as to, to see how much of the screw here will protrude through um, once that the um, once the neck is uh, is fitted. And actually, to get it accurate, more accurate, I do need to put the neck plate on as well. So, so we'll fit that temporarily. And then you can see more or less how much of the screw pokes through. So what I'll do is I'm going to get a, um, a drill to drill some guide holes for the screws. And what I'll do is get the, uh, the drill bit here. Yeah, I'm going to hold that against the uh, protruding screw and I'm going to mark that with a piece of white electrical tape so that I only drill down as far as I have to. The danger of trying to, trying to guess it is that you could drill all the way through and actually drill through the, uh, the fingerboard which is the, the last thing you want to do because it would destroy your neck. <laughs> to actually facilitate marking the, uh, um, the screw holes through I'm going to actually temporarily uh, fix the neck with a piece of double sided tape. Now this is a piece of double sided tape, this is the type of thing you use for sticking down the edges of carpets. So I'm just going to put that in here. and then temporarily fit the neck into the neck socket. So make sure it's put, pushed right to the back of the socket so it's in the right place. And press it down so it forms a bond. Right, which means that I can then turn the guitar over. keep everything together while I mark through the holes so rid of the double sided tape and I've now got four indentations to show where I need to drill the, the holes for the for the neck. Right so I've uh, <coughs> removed the neck again, removed the double sided tape and I've just fitted the uh, screw again temporarily with the neck plate and then I've got my, uh, my drill bit and I've put a piece of um, white electrical tape uh, to show the maximum length of the screw uh, beyond the body and that is the depth that I need to drill the neck. 
And look, we're now a few days later, and the guitar a little bit more towards completion. Tuning pegs are on, and the, the neck is fixed to the guitar body. Now, the bridge pickup, pickup is fitted to the bridge, uh, bridge is fitted to the guitar. Obviously I've still got the, uh, all the electrics to do, so the wires are just uh, poked through the um, uh, the holes in the wood into the uh, control cavity at the moment. I did remember to put an earth wire in underneath the bridge as well. So, uh, and you can see that the, uh, the neck pickup is in the, in place as well now. So. Right, you can see here that I've made a start in the wiring up the electronics. I've fixed the components to the contr control plate. Now these electronic components are mainly ones that um, uh, I just had in my toolbox. Um, I've got uh, uh, variable pots for the um, tone and volume and five-way switch. The uh, the tone pot has a uh, a uh, 22 microfarad uh, capacitor on it. The five-way switch is a bit unusual for Telecaster. Uh, that's what you know, is one I, that I'd use in the previous strap build, um, but it's um, uh, wired in, in, in a fashion to give me a um, bridge pickup on its own, neck pickup on its own, neck pickup and bridge pickup in series, and then uh, neck and bridge half out of phase, and then the neck pickup on its own with this extra capacitor. Uh, this capacitor here is a uh, uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor. I think this is probably known as the uh, the Bill Lawrence five-way modification. Bill, Bill Lawrence was uh, was probably most famous for his uh, his pickups, um, and I have actually used some uh, Bill Lawrence pickups in the first ever Telecaster I made back in 2004. It probably was a long time ago. Next, uh, next thing in the build will be to, to wire the, the uh, pickup wires and the uh, earth wire from the bridge into this um, control panel and then fix the control panel. Right now I've got the, um, all the electrics finished, uh, I've got everything's wired up and I've fixed the control plate uh, into the guitar, uh, fixed the jack plate here and uh, I'll fix the strap pins as well. Now, as I say, I've got uh, volume and tone and a five-way switch. I know they both say tone, those switches, but there are a couple of old uh, Stratocaster um, knobs that I uh, actually had in, in, in my toolbox. So, uh, And also a Stratocaster white tip to the five-way switch. I'll probably uh, try and get a, uh, um, a black tip for that, just so it doesn't look too odd. But I say it's all come together nicely now. Um, I've, I've tested the electrics just by uh, plugging into the amplifier and, and uh, just giving the uh, pickups a gentle tap with the, um, with the, with the screwdriver just to, uh, to check that they are picking up a signal. So the way it works now, position one uh, with, with, with the switch closest to the, uh, the neck is the neck pickup only. Position two is going to be the bridge pickup only. Position three is both pickups. Uh, position four is both pickups, half out of phase. And position five is the neck pickup only with the extra capacitor. Uh, I mean, the next thing I've got to do is actually to um, to treat the neck with some lemon oil, the, uh, the fretboard, because it's obviously, it's a rosewood fretboard and it's, it's, um, it's new, but it's quite dry. So uh, that's one thing I had. I wasn't. I didn't have in stock with lemon oil. So hopefully, um, if Amazon aren't too uh, uh, slow with their deliveries with this due to this coronavirus, um, actually you should get that tomorrow, um, so I can carry on. The next stage to do once I actually uh, string the guitar up is to set the intonation. And uh, I've got a Wilkinson bridge here with um, intonated uh, saddles on it, so it should make it a bit easier. But I'll have to play with that with the tuner and uh, 
adjust the string lengths to get the intonation correct. Right, we're a uh, couple of days later now. Um, I've got my lemon oil, so uh, I'm just going to give it a quick spray. And I'm just going to let that soak in uh, for a couple of minutes. Oh, now that's had a couple of minutes to, uh, to soak in. I'm going to wipe the excess off with a, uh, a piece of absorbent paper towel. Right, that's got that, uh, got that off now. Um, I'm going to just leave that for a while just to, to soak it and dry off a bit. And then I'm going to uh, uh, start stringing the guitar. Right, here's the finished guitar. Strings on it and the uh, intonation done. <laughs> Just uh, switch uh, over to the, uh, the other microphone and uh, I'll do a bit of playing for you. I hope you in, uh, enjoyed watching me um, making my uh, uh, coronavirus um, lockdown telecaster. Uh, it's given me a few days of uh, uh, something to do to keep me from getting too bored. And uh, uh, I can look forward to uh, a, a few weeks of uh, 
uh, isolation now. Um, actually getting to, to forget it, the final adjustments made uh, to the intonation uh, and to playing it. Um, uh, for those of you interested, uh, I was just playing that through a, uh, a, a Fuchs uh, Blackjack Mark II amplifier um, uh, with a, a, a Zilla uh, 2x12 cab. I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, look out for the next uh, uh, Browns video blog and bye for now.